How to paint water drops in oil paintings. Welcome to our little painting course. Nice to have you here again. People often ask me how to paint the popular water droplets on the roses or fruit that can make a picture look so alive and fresh. In this video, I will show you a small example how to paint even the tiniest drops of water and to beautify your own oil paintings with them. There's a little practice to do, so I recommend before you go to a new picture or paint the drops of water on an already finished image, practice painting them on a monochrome painted canvas first, so you can't damage your painting. Let me mention that the drops of water are always painted at the very end of the painting when the artwork has already dried. For our example, we want to decorate a red rose with water drops, so we start with a red canvas for practicing. A size of 8 by 10 is sufficient. This we emphasize in the same shade of red as the flower in our painting, in this case with a cadmium red, and let it dry for possible if one to two days. For this work we need small brushes of good quality. I'm using some round brushes in size 1 or 0. You will need four brushes at least, if you don't want to constantly clean in between. Now the colors. We mix titanium white and a very little cadmium yellow. That's the color for the highlights, the light reflections on the droplets. We mix cadmium red with the titanium white for the light side of the water drop. And finally for the shadows, cadmium red with a burnt umber. A little bit of each color is enough. Let's start with the dark shades of red. I put the shadows in the painting where the shadow at the same side of the other objects will fall in your picture. And dark diagonally on the opposite side. Then comes the bright side with the pink mixture. As you can see here, please do not put too much color on the canvas, otherwise the next step is difficult. We take a slightly larger brush and gently blur the bright hue to a rounded shape. Leave a small free area in the middle between light and dark. If we are satisfied with this step, we set up one highlight on top of the drops and one below where the light is reflected. And now the same at the final image. First I paint in the shadow with the mixture at one side of the water drop and dark diagonally on the opposite side. Then comes the bright side with the pink mixture. Work together again until it results in a rounded shape.
Finally, we set the highlights again. Please be sure to paint the drop so that it adapts to the surface. They fall flat on surfaces like here or here. The size should always be somewhat different so that the hole looks natural. And there you go. I hope you liked my little painting course. Now I wish you much fun with painting on your own oil paintings.